Challenge Builders and welcome back to the channel. This is a 1984 Ford F-150 that has been parked here since roughly 2011 or so. so. Not as long as some of them, but as you can tell, this thing is gonna be a fun one. It has a little 302 carbureted backed by an automatic two wheel drive, but this thing is just so original and so neat. We're excited to pull this one out today and attempt to get it running. shop and it is time to dig in and see if we can get the same running i've got to say this is some eight-legged freaks looking stuff my goodness there's so many spider webs under here kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies so the reason this thing we were told that this thing was parked was going down the road one day one of these belts blew off or maybe something locked up and froze you can see the belt kind of hanging up underneath there so that's something we'll have to dress we have not verified the motor is free because you can tell this thing has been exposed to quite a bit of moisture. That's why this truck is so green and kind of mossy looking and everything. And so we want to take the proper steps to verify that if there is some rust on those cylinders, we don't tear anything up. So what we want to go ahead and do first, let's take this air cleaner off, clean up some of these spider webs here. Let's pull the spark plugs, get some lubricant down on those cylinders, maybe some Marvel Mister oil. And then at that point, we can see if we can start rocking this thing over a little bit. Carbureted. Surprisingly not too bad and as you can see on that carburetor right there E4 which is 1984 so that is the original carburetor I bet this thing has never been messed with you can see even as crusty as everything is protected down in there and the air filter was uh not great got some rat's nest in there but not too terrible and save that let's see how our uh woo wee definitely needs an oil change a little bit of moisture look you can see kind of some rust and crust there not too bad though not 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 the best tasting oil well gassy a little old gassy yeah <coughs> let's uh let's get these spark plugs pulled out of here bad oh. that is the original spark plug so the reason i say that auto light 25s and the original gray paint is actually still on it you know not a perfect looking spark plug but really good cylinder wise not bad that one's got a Maybe a leaking valve stem seal, you see some oil build up. Not shabby though. Man, some pretty good looking cylinders. <laughs> Cylinder one, not too shabby. And 
too. Little bit of, yeah, a little bit of rust. Very light condensation though, so I'm not too, too, too concerned yet. Not too shabby. Number four. Pretty darn good. Maybe we should have washed this truck, did a detail video before <laughs> starting to get it to run. <laughs> there are just strands of this belt intertwined everywhere. Yeah, it just blew apart and made a big old mess. Being the AC belt, I, I bet it was original. I wonder if we can see they sure look like they're a uh, hundred year old belts. All right, we've let it soak for a bit. It's just the standard 15 16 snout bolt. Oh boy, and it's tightening. There she goes. Whew, that scared me. The, the belts are rusted is what it was. That's weird, that bolt was so loose it actually was turning. Oh, beautiful. So you've seen it many a times. You see just how rusty all these pulleys are. And these belts are actually rusted. It just never a good feeling when you go to grab a crank bolt and the, it starts tightening itself. But it moves over smoothly now. And uh, before we start turning this thing over, let's go ahead and drain that oil. Let's pull the filter. Let's get fresh in it. I just hate stirring these things up. Oil's pretty cheap in the realm of a motor. I like to get fresh in there and we can run it a little bit and go ahead and just change it again pretty quickly. And obviously I need to get that old DECA battery out of there and let's get a fresh battery in it. Not too shabby. Woo! It's old though, definitely needed a change. Well, one twenty four. What five one five? Five one five. Go cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Before we go ahead and start turning this thing over with the battery, I do want to disconnect the fuel line down here from that fuel pump because being this thing's in the garage now and set out in the open, I mean, you just smell the stanky gas aroma from it. I have a feeling we're probably going to have to drop and clean the tank, which what we may do, I noticed a little bit of rot in the bed. We may pull the bed so we can repair that. And while we have that out, we'll clean the tank and everything. So we will be running this, of course, off of our boat tank. With that being said, if there's not a ton of crap in the carburetor, I don't want to start flowing it up into the carburetor. All right, it's been a long time since she's had life. Let's take a look, see. Ooh, got a cab light. Yes, it is. I was gonna put a bottle, but I couldn't. Oh! 
love that smell. And that is why we disconnected it from the carburetor. Ah, we should have put a hose on there. Oh, well, you know, that's just some, uh, just some fuel to catch on fire later. No. I doubt that, I doubt that would even burn. <laughs> like to really quick see what we're working with here. Ooh wee. Let uh, yikes. Let's wire brush that up. Is that supposed to be bent? Not sure why that's so bent up like that. We do have a replacement here. Just a cheapy cheapy, but we'll go ahead and throw that on. Another set of Autolite 25s. You can see 42 to 46 thousandths gap. Oh, yummy. I don't know about y'all, but I always love sweet tea. I need to do, do that sometime. I actually put sweet tea in here, get one of these and actually take a big old swig of it. <laughs> First I'm licking the dipstick. That's kind of weird. <laughs> and then I'm drinking the gas. <laughs> All right, I guess let's turn it over and see if that carburetor will take a hold and whew, see if that accelerator pump does anything. You ready? Y'all ready? Go ahead, Dad. What was that? Hold on. Go ahead. Woo, baby. Go ahead. No, that whole bank it and yeah. coming out for some reason. <laughs> well, you darn straight. <laughs> Woo wee. She is a runner. Oh, don't you love when they're like that? Now it's running with the choke. We need to get some temperature in it. Obviously, super low on coolant. About a gallon short there. But a little bit of run time, we'll see if that choke opens and see if it'll actually sit there and run on its own with that choke open. I still probably, I feel better about rebuilding that carburetor, but kind of, I don't know. Just as long as this thing had sat and as bad as that gas smells, but man, what a good feeling. She sounds healthy. Full dual exhaust back here, glass packs. For some reason, it seems like that whole bank is clogged. Probably got mouse nest up in it. Hopefully we can uh, run it a bit more and get that to clear up a bit. There's some kind of rat's nest in there. Well, with it running and sounding pretty good, I guess it's time to go ahead and let's check and see if it goes into gear. Cause we want to try to drive this thing. 
not much oh major major vacuum leak from the booster definitely gonna have to put a new brake booster in this thing but there is some pedal there not much Let's throw it in gear Woo! got reverse neutral forward I'm gonna throw it in neutral real quick now that we've done that and let's check our fluid level pretty low isn't it probably about a quart yeah. probably about a couple quarts low We do have a little bit of pedal, so I'm not going to worry about it yet because we're going to have to do that booster. It is just leaking vacuum like crazy at the backside. And uh, we'll do a master cylinder, I think. Going to throw on that missing belt really quick. Obviously, all of them. Yep, Motorcraft. <laughs> D2. D2? What? <laughs> Obviously, they're all original belts, which just blows my mind. And so we want to replace them all. That's, of course, why that one shredded. My goodness. But we'll do that once we start detailing this engine bay. In the meantime, I'd like to go ahead and stick this one in place. Of course, our AC. I bet. Wow, it's crazy how much how stretched that belt was. And see, it's been adjusted and adjusted and adjusted and adjusted with a new one. It's a whole lot different, but. <laughs> now the big question, really quick. To make a nice driver is does this have AC no it does not but worth the try thank you know what time it is we got a little bit of brakes let's see if we can drive this thing you ready Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you see anything? I can't see it though. <laughs> you might need to detail it before you can drive it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh.
Go reverse. See if it drags the other way out of the brake. <laughs> well it actually runs pretty good definitely burning a ton of crud out of it still this thing is smoking smoking pretty good i hope that clears up definitely burn a lot of rats and as the stuff out of this thing you can see all the nuts and stuff under the hood and it's definitely in the exhaust too by far those brakes are horrendous i don't really have to worry about them stopping too good because they say stop this thing is pushing super super hard actually sizzling a little bit just trying to drive around the yard here so i think before we go any farther we're gonna have to go ahead and dig into those brakes there you have it will it run yes will it drive sort of definitely need to go through those brakes and i think we'll do that on our first thing in our next episode and then we get to detail this thing i am so excited to see what truck is underneath all this nasty grime. This one has really been a fun one, bringing such a survivor back. It runs pretty well, surprisingly. Definitely blowing a lot of smoke out and everything. You tell us burning a lot of crud out of there. We need to get it under a load, definitely, but we have to get those brakes done first. Those calipers are just so old, and they've been sitting for so long that they're seized up pretty well. You know, when we first drug it out, it was dragging those front tires and obviously trying to move it around. They're only getting worse. But I really hope you all have enjoyed the rescue to this point and are excited for what's to come. If you are, be sure to the subscribe button and notification bell. If you have been a part of the channel, we really do appreciate it so incredibly much. But that is gonna wrap it up. Peace out and catch you all on the flip side.